All right, it's time to put the T-band board back in, the rear T-band board. Uh, I like to keep track of at least how many times I have issues, uh, aside from the book I put it in. I go ahead and if somebody works with me or I work on the lane, I go ahead and sign it and date it. So that way if I strip it and pull it apart, I can recall instantly when the last time was that I actually did this, uh, this wonderful task of doing transport band boards. All right, your rear board, just to let you know, there's a your tapered edge here has to go to the ball door, and there is also a bullnose rounded edge that has to go to the back of the trans of the actual pin setter. There, so the, your front boards that you install are universal anyway. Just there's a top and a bottom, but you can put there's no left or right. It goes in either lane, but your rear boards are lane specific. So you got to think when you put it in, think about how you, you have to stand it up like a book and when you flip it over you want it to be the right way. So I'm going to put the bull nose down and to me. And I'm going to rest it on the lane next to me. Alright, I'm going to lift up the transport band. Sorry, I've seen my, uh, there's rubber strips here. I'll bring you over and show you. There's some rubber strips here that have shifted a little. I'm going to go ahead and bring those up and move them back so that it hits. My bolts go right in the holes where they need to be. Don't want to make it difficult for me later. All right. band up. We'll start feeding the board in. And now I'm going to, now that I got it in just barely underneath, now I'm going to go as, reach as far as I can and lift the right side of the board up to do a dive down into the lane. Now I'm going to go to the other side, grab it and lift it up. Now I'm setting, I'm not setting on top of the frame that your bearing rides on from your rollers, your T-band rollers. I'm just setting down on the lower lip here, and I'm just going to roll it back forward towards the front of the bowlers area. All right. Now you got to slowly walk it back in both sides. Go over here and do it real quick. board back on and I'm going to put the bolts in. I recommend you thread in the bolts in as far as you can until you get the washer head down recessed in the hole. Don't do it tight because you want to make sure you get all of them in from both sides before you totally tighten it down. If you put these two in and you tighten them down, it's a high likelihood you're going to go to the other side and you can't even get the bolts in. They're going to be catching on the lip of the transport band. It won't go in the recess hole. So make sure you're centered up with your bolts when you put them in before you tighten all of them down. And uh, that's going to be basic, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it for a second. One quick tip I noticed, uh, we, have, we do have the short pit GSX pin setters machines, but we've got a little difference on ours compared to our other house at this house. Uh, the bolts that do your transport band boards that hold them down, you'll notice that this, maybe uh, this still applies to your house, it may not. Uh, there are differences in length of the bolts that go in the boards. 
your shorter ones that are installed now, the shorter ones go in the tapered side near the ball door. But I believe Brunswick was probably having problems with people not paying attention to that and they just put the short ones wherever and then these bolts would end up vibrating out. So Brunswick has actually taken these out of the parts list. You, you don't order these anymore. They're all the long bolts. So, but since I still have the old style, your shorter ones, I'm going to put install those next to the ball door and the longer ones are going on the opposite side of the ball door. Now your front transport band board up there, it has all four long ones in it. All right, so I got the board back on. Now it's time to put the roller back in. You have to put the front roller in first. And uh, just so you know, the reason I had to take out the roller in the front, even though I had to take out just the backboard, and I still took out the roller in the front, the reason you take out the roller in the front is you need enough slack in the transport band for you to stand up that, that T-band board like a book on a bookshelf to slide it out. Same thing, I'm going to go in. i got to put in the ball door side first. Push up in there as far as I can. Now I'm going to come in from the rear side here. You should have seen where I, I did it from the front. You, the camera's on the other side. Now I'm going to come in here from the back and I'm going to go over top of the impact strip and drop it in. Being sure to drop in the ball door side first. Raise the other side of the kick plate. Set it down in. That's how easy it goes in. That'd be a contortionist. So that's my front roller. Easy one. Now I have to do the rear roller. One thing I want to show you real quick on the rear roller. Uh, appears to be some looks like dirt but I believe it's belt dressing of a some type some type like a, a wax substance I wouldn't recommend stripping that off I leave it on there I believe it's Brunswick puts it on there to grip the transport bands to help the transport bands keep moving you strip all that off and clean it off then that just makes this a slick surface when you get a lot of extra weight and balls and pins on the top of the transport band if you don't have that uh, kind of a tacky surface it won't spin, and then you're going to come back here a lot of times and probably clear out more ball jams and everything than anything. Okay? you got to remember that your pulley wheel needs to go on to the 7-pin side on this machine. It's the 7-pin side because this is an odd lane. So I want to make sure that my pulley wheel goes to the right of your screen on this, in this instance. Always be mindful of your all threads. Don't damage them, beating them on anything. Pull my transport band to me as much as I can. Put my all thread down in the belt inside. As I'm feeding it through. where it would be helpful to have two people. I'm going to go to the other side and lift it up and out. Alright, so now I'm going to point where I'm probably going to keep catching on either the pulley or this all thread here. Yeah. 
try to find ways to use the machine itself to work with me or parts of the machine. So I'm going to use my pin deflector board and I'm going to place it underneath my pulley there so hopefully it doesn't snag on anything while I'm doing this. Lifting over here on the opposite side of your screen. Obviously, it caught. Yeah, it caught on the edge of my kick plate. Come on, baby. Again. Almost there. All right. Got it set up now. I'm going to lift my roller up, drop my all thread into this, the hole right here. Hope you can see that. See if you're low enough. Nope. Get you down here. Sorry. Wasted a lot of that image not showing you. I took the uh, took my deflector board. I actually rested it over top of this other pulley because whenever you're trying to slide it back and forth, it usually catches on the lip of this pulley here. I use my deflector board to cover it. And I was setting this on top of that over here, and it slid across. All threads in. My all threads in. My bearings resting on top of the upright on the frame assembly. I got my other side roller in. I got the bearing. The notch on the bearing is on the upright of that frame assembly. Time to tighten everything back down. Put on all my springs and washers in. 